brave souls. Greetings, seekers of the uncanny. As the moon graces the sky, join us for a tale that'll tingle your spine. Venture into the shadows with us, where reality takes a curious turn. Heartbeats will quicken, for within these words lies an adventure itching to be told. Buckle up, listeners, as we journey into the mysterious unknown. And here we go. Hidden within the heart of an ancient forgotten forest, the cabin stood like a relic from nightmares, its wooden facade weathered by time and secrets. Moonlight dripped through the twisted branches, casting eerie silhouettes that seemed to writhe in the darkness. A group of friends, their laughter echoing in the cold air, sought refuge within the cabin's walls, oblivious to the lurking malevolence that clung to the air. As they crossed the threshold, an otherworldly chill swept through the room, seeping into their bones like icy fingers. The wind whispered tales of despair, and the door behind them creaked shut, sealing them within the cabin's embrace. Unperturbed, they lit the fireplace, the flames flickering hesitantly, casting fleeting shadows that danced like phantoms on the walls. As night deepened, a symphony of unsettling sounds played out, the faint rustling of leaves against windows, the soft whisper of the wind, and something else, whispers like secrets exchanged between the living and the dead. Tensions mounted, laughter fading into silence as the sense of being watched intensified. An ornate mirror on the wall seemed to hold their gazes a moment too long, reflecting something that wasn't quite right. A resounding thud echoed from above, followed by a haunting silence. They exchanged nervous glances, their smiles fading as the weight of the cabin's history pressed down upon them. A single tap, sharp and insistent, echoed through the room, sending shivers down their spines. They tried to convince themselves it was merely a figment of their imagination that the cabin's age was playing tricks on them. Candles flickered, casting eerie shadows that danced along the walls, their forms morphing into grotesque shapes that seemed to writhe with a life of their own. The air grew thick with dread as they explored further, uncovering a journal hidden within the decaying shelves. Its pages held a descent into madness, a testament to the torment of those who had come before them. But it was the final entry, smudged and barely legible, that sent tendrils of fear down their spines. The author begged for deliverance, for escape from the entity that hungered for their souls. Outside, the storm raged, as if the very heavens were in turmoil. Yet, the group found themselves trapped, unable to flee the encroaching darkness. The clock on the wall ticked with a maddening slowness, its incessant rhythm a cruel reminder of their helplessness. A whisper, guttural and inhuman, slithered through the cracks in the walls. Their names, spoken with a haunting intimacy, seemed to seep into their minds, setting roots in their deepest fears. The walls themselves seemed to breathe, the very structure of the cabin pulsating with a sinister life that sought to consume them. With trepidation, they ventured into the woods, following a trail of blood-stained footprints that led to a clearing, a grotesque stage for an otherworldly ritual. Symbols etched into the earth glowed with an eerie light, revealing the figure that stood at the center, its form twisted and contorted, a manifestation of nightmares given flesh. Its eyes, windows to a void beyond comprehension, fixed upon them. And in that moment, they felt an abyss staring back. One of them, driven by a mixture of curiosity and desperation, stepped forward. The figure extended a spectral hand, its fingers brushing against the trembling flesh of their forehead. A scream, raw and unbridled, cut through the forest as the unfortunate soul was consumed, their form disintegrating into the earth. The survivors fled back to the cabin, their breathless panting an accompaniment to their pounding hearts. The very air seemed to close in on them, thick and suffocating, as if the cabin itself was sentient and malevolent. The fireplace, once a source of comfort, now burned with an intensity that bordered on the unnatural, casting long, flickering shadows that danced with an eerie glee. The journal, a vessel of forbidden knowledge, lay open on the floor. Its pages detailed a ritual, an attempt to sever the bond between the cabin and the malevolent spirit that clung to it. 
With hands that trembled like leaves in a storm, they followed the instructions, their voices strained as they chanted the incantation. But the room grew colder, the shadows coalescing like vengeful specters, their whispers a chorus of forgotten sorrows. As the final word echoed, a silence fell over the cabin, a silence so profound it felt as if the very fabric of reality had been rent asunder. And then the figure emerged, its form wreathed in darkness, its eyes twin abysses that threatened to swallow their souls. Desperation fueled their defiance as they continued to chant, their voices now a desperate plea for salvation. A blinding light erupted from the journal, consuming the room in its brilliance. Their screams merged with an unearthly wail, a symphony of terror that echoed through the forest. And then, darkness reclaimed them. The morning sun rose over a cabin, seemingly untouched by the horrors of the night. But the walls bore witness, the very wood stained with the echoes of anguish. A shroud of amnesia veiled their memories, but a lingering unease remained, a haunting reminder of the malevolent entity that had tested the boundaries between worlds.